Hi, this is Tets of Tets Toys and Shenanigans, and I'm just doing a little follow-up video on the Pocket Power Hovercraft, which I did a uh, full review on earlier. Um, since I recorded and edited and uploaded that review, the guy from PocketPowerToys.com happened to find a Japanese card backing image, which had a few extra ways of using the hovercraft. And it seems quite interesting in that they had uh, one option for it to go on the side and it was supposed to spin around and also one where it was on the nose and it would spin around like so. So the nurse said it doesn't like standing up on sides either one without, the, uh, way, uh, without any spinning going on. So. I'm here to give these theories a test. I've had a bit of a crack and it seems to spin around quite nicely. So, let's give it a show. Okay. Now we'll go along and give it a try. On its side, I think. None of the images had the uh, little gun weight on any part of the toy, so hmm, that's interesting. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to chuck it in the launcher and see how that goes. Got some pretty cool spin on the end. Let's see if I can get it on the angle now. Final try for good luck. Maybe it's supposed to launch and then go off in its merry way. And as he can't lead it too far back. That's sort of just fall on its side, and if you lean it that much forward, it just goes on the nose and doesn't get spinning till the end. Alright. Personally, I just prefer I like that myself. Maybe once he gets a hold of his uh, packet version, which he just got, we can have a bit of a closer look and see if they're going to give us any more definition on what's going on. So that was just my quick follow-up review. Thanks for watching.